We're back in the last stop. <laughs> That's all that I had planned. <laughs> We're back in the last stop. We're going to try Mina Hughes, Domestic Affairs. Let's do it. Domestic Affairs, Chapter 1, The Candidate. We just, we've done Jack and John so far. And we'll do Donna Adelic at some point. But let's do The Candidate, shall we? Come on, Mina. The Candidate, let's do it. Domestic Affairs, Chapter 1. It's a job interview, is it? Interrogation. Do you value all human life? Yes. Some more than others. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Well, what if you're going to have a party or something? Depends on what I stand to gain. No. To take the life of a loved one? What? What a provocative question. I think I could only answer that in the moment. Are you capable of suicide? What? Uh... Super Been question. known to, but only after a few drinks. Please be cooperative, Miss Hughes. What is your greatest fear? Bad investments, wasting time. Getting old? I don't know. I don't know this person. Not wasting time. You will never end. Are you afraid of answering questions? Come on, ask a real one. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? What do you mean? We mean your life outside of work, your attachments, your family. Not an issue, don't worry about that, I'll do whatever. Ah, oh, Mina, I don't want you to be like this. Whatever was required of me. Even years? What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Okay. What do you do, Mina? Got me on speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. Oh, I'm Mina. Alright. I mean, you got family? What are all these weird cubicles? Alright. Let's go, Mina. Hello? It's science? Mina. Museum. Mina Hughes. Oh, she's famous, Mina. What the fuck's going on? Okay. Facial, unguarded smile. Doesn't seem faked. Overly keen to make a good impression. Total look. Don't she seem combat? Okay. The music's so loud all of a sudden. Full name, Amy NG. I'm not gonna lie, plan not a name I plan to remember. Surprised at her clearance level. Mina, you're an absolute bitch! And slight tremble, nervous, or excitement. Either way, she's unguarded with her feelings. No red ring. Smart. <clears throat> Negligible person. Hey, Mina. Do you mind if I get past? I I'm Amy. Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. You're just the worst, I Mina. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Sandhurst. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then, I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Is it this way? Say, no. You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? 
anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. Uh, have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. It's nice of you, Red. Amy. I've heard so much about you. It's an honour to meet the legend in person. You're nice, Amy. We should go out for lunch. My a scientist? Presumably? What are you doing? Are you taking the lift too? Oh, no. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. Good one, Amy. Mina, why don't you and Clive start dating? Use. Sir. See you've met Amy. She's green. She's getting younger. Promising recruit, that one. She's still annoying. Yeah. Put her in the mix and you'll get anyone <laughs> talking just to get her to shut up. <laughs> She's getting fast tracked. What? Blasted thing. Oh, fast tracked, okay. Fast tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. What department? Advanced on, Dynamics, on. your section. Yes, yeah, like shit me, that's what you get. <laughs> so she's my boss. No. She's replacing you, Mina. About bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. Why the special treatment? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process, same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh, no. I think this is your stop, Hughes. Sir. Yeah, but am I supposed to care about Mina? Left, presumably? All right, let's go left. Sure. Domestic affairs. is in our hands. Is this like a private research group? I don't... What does she do? Mina. Q3D, seizing the future. So a robotics company? Maybe? Sure. Am I supposed to care about that? Come on, Mina. I want to go the other way, aren't I? Yeah. Left or right? No, oh, this way. That's a cute face. Oh, I'm going this way. That would make sense, right? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense, apparently. Even when I think I'm going the right way. It's not the right way. Oh. Oh, I wanted to get in the cab, apparently. I do, Mina. I hope you, I hope you are well. What would you like for your birthday? Sincerely, Dad. Dad, you don't need to text like you're writing one. Mina, thank you for your message. I will come with you whatever manner I feel comfortable with. With whatever, in with you in whatever manner I feel comfortable with. Would an MS voucher be sufficient? Sincerely, Dad. Yes, Dad. That would be most delightful. Do you mean in light of your call to visit later this evening, I've decided to leave my routine eating hours to suit your appropriate work schedule. Dinner shall be served at 
5.30, your suggestion of eating at 8 is simply not possible. I hope we can both agree that this is a suitable compromise. Double booked. Come over for another time, realize I arranged to go back to dinner with a friend tonight. Oh, but that's it. It's, a, it's your birthday and Dad's gonna be so mad. Although I'm not in the profile picture of Dad. So maybe. Is this my house or a dad's house? <laughs> oh no, this is Felix? Come for a checkup, have you? Quite the cute talk. Sad innuendos, let me in. Let's go with sad innuendos. Very good. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. If all you've got is talk. I'll find someone else. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Fair enough. I wasn't expecting this to happen. Yeah, good. Bay it on your dad. For your birthday to go and have sex? And then you snuck out? Where did we just come from? Now this is my house? Mm. I was gonna say, she... Well, wow. should be a whiskey drinker, I think. Sure, I'll pour some whiskey. Pour some whiskey. Are you right, babe? Yeah. I just need to sit down for a moment. Mm. Long day. Mm. One that you can't wait to end. Oh, my babe saving the world again, is she? You make me sound like a superhero. Well, you could be for all I know. <coughs> Anything I can help with. Well, if I say yes. You could help me take out the recycling. How about a back rub instead? Yeah, don't. I'm gonna. I'm not taking advantage. Dylan in bed? Mm -mm. I'll let him wait up for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> It'll do. Mina, you're kind of the worst. Hey, Dylan. Is it because Hi. Dylan looks like exactly Everything like right? Dad, not like you at all? Yeah, just eating. How's Granddad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? You you are you the worst person. Five hundred is what I meant. Sorry. Don't try to manipulate your child. What's that about? Dad said you'll come and watch me do my seven hundred and fifty meters. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the four hundred and the three hundred. Everyone else's mom's come. Yeah, just be. Of course, I won't ah. miss it for the world. But you do. Okay, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. 
Well, okay. yeah. Okay. But I better see this light off when I come back up here at nine. Okay? Well, don't be the worst person ever. You can be a bad one, but you know. Oh. Maybe you're getting passed up for promotion because you're a bitch. Just saying. <laughs> Maybe it should be nice. Maybe I'll be forced to eat my words. In the future. Alright, well we'll find out. Alright, I'll stop that there.